Hello guys and welcome to my channel SV I'm Oasisentic and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you could use the glitter text tool and also how you could make this awesome looking glitter text uh, in glitter. So let me just minimize and show you some of the um, simple artworks that I've made before and uh, they are very nice and uh, uh, they're very nice and very cool for you to look at. So this artwork I made, uh, this text artwork I made using uh, Brenda, so it's very advanced and I'm going to show you a tutorial also on this one. Just comment down uh, below if you want to see, an artwork, uh, see a tutorial on this one. And also this one, uh, it's a curry and also I made this one using uh, Krita and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how, this is the tutorial on how to make this one. And also I made this artwork in Brenda and this one also in Brenda and this one also in Krita. But, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to literally show you how you could make your very own Ikari or any tab any name that you want to or type uh, this artwork in Brenda. So in Krita, my apologies. So let's just open up Krita. I already have mine open here, so I'm just going to um, start a new project where you you could take off. Um, so when you are starting up Krita, when you're opening up Krita, um, uh, when you select new file uh, or um, uh, click Control N, so this window will show up um, and you can set up your width and resolution uh, your width and height that is um, width resolution and height uh, on my width uh, there is 1200 and on my height I have 720 so this is okay for me and I'm just going to uh, click create so once I click create uh, creator is going to open up a new user interface where I can start my project so um, let me just be fast on this one because it's very easy um, go to your left hand side here and select this bucket tool or a fill tool and you could just even select this by pressing F on your keyboard and this is very easy press press it once you press it you, you could just go in um, the uh, painting area here and make sure also that you have selected the right color that you want to drop in so here you could just uh, move this to select the color that the desired color that you want so here just go on and select black for me i've chosen black because i want this to be a black background and white text so here just press uh, the left hand side of your and the left button on your mouse once you select once you select that it, it drops in paint so i'm zooming in and zooming out using my mouse wheel a very uh, it comes very much in handy and um, because I've painted here on this layer black I want now to add my text so to add text I'll just go on the left hand side select this symbol here T symbol T sign uh, which is CVG text tool so once you select this go on the, your drawing area here and then hold click and hold the left key on the left key on your um, the left key on your um, the left key on your mouse here so just drag and hold this and release once you release um, this text editor tool will come out edit text in clear so um uh, here here now are the functions here are the things that you need to know um this is where the, the your font is like the font family which is under here uh, the font family is this one the name of the font that you're using and where there is nine here is the font size and where there is some text here it's where you you can input your own text so i've just highlighted where i can input my own text and i'm going to write anything here but in this tutorial i'm going to write a curry a curry so um, i've written here a curry and let me just highlight this so you could be able maybe to see and um, once i've written a text here i could go on the font size and then select uh um 48 once I've set it for the 8, this increases in size and I will click I will click save. You cannot easily see the changes here. I've dragged this below here. You cannot see the changes here because my font are uh, my, 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 my text is in uh, black, so the background is also black. So we need to change the color here so that our changes, the changes that we make to the font can be visible for us to see. And um, let me select the um, drop to the the drop button here, the drop uh, menu button, and select white, 100% white, and also don't don't forget to save. So once I've selected this, I've I've said that uh, my text should be white, and let's move this and see. So right now you could you're able to see my text is white, but this is just plain text. Um, the font isn't that much interesting, so let's change the font. So 
Uh, once again, let's go to the font here. Uh, this is where I can type in any font that I have if I know the name of the font. But because maybe I don't know the name of the font, I'm just gonna drop. I'm just gonna click this drop down menu here of fonts. So it's gonna just it's going to load all the fonts that are in my computer. But for me, I love this one, Advertising Gothic Demo, which you could also download on the internet. So let me select Advertising Gothic Demo as my font, and it's showing this. So I love this. Um, I love this uh, text style, so let me just save this because it, it already looks like an already done artwork. So right now, this is how it looks when I've clicked saved. So I'm 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 satisfied with whatever I'm having here. So I could just click close, and because it's not centered, because this is not centered, um, I could just uh, you know center this. I could literally just drag this and center this and and, and put it in a central position, as you are seeing there. Or maybe I could also maybe select the uh, move to and this is this also does the same thing of moving um, Move to is this one uh, which is you could also have this tool by pressing T on your keyboard. So um, Let's just center this and this is centered Okay, so this is centered and uh, something that you need to know about this this uh, vector layer is, is is that you cannot edit this as in you cannot chop it down you cannot color on this one so um, for you to be able to color this vector layer, this is just a tip you need to go to the layer section layer section here you can see vector layer one so just click left uh, just click the light um, button on your mouse and you could see convert here so just push your mouse and convert this hover menu is going to show up convert to paint and click uh, the, your left uh, mouse key to select this one so you have converted this to paint and now you could easily edit this so uh, once again I'm gonna move I'm going to move to zoom in using my mouse wheel by just rolling it in um, rolling it forward and rolling it back to zoom out so this is the artwork that I've made and um, that I showed you that I was going to make and I've made it exactly the way it was uh, in the beginning of the tutorial so to save this don't don't forget to save this as PNG so to save this as PNG just go to files or click control s control plus s or yeah control plus s so let's save uh, save as for me, I'll do savers, and uh, I want you to see this option here. It saves sometimes it saves as clear document, but you could change this and to say you need to save this as PNG. So you can save it anywhere you want. Uh, you could save it on the desktop, which I'm going to do. And let me just type in the name Ekari. Uh, the name of the dog Ekaru. I'll type Ekaru here. So I'll save here. Once I click save, this also shows up. It tells me about the quality of the image that I want to save. I could say it should be very high. Or very low by just dragging this to be very high and very low small in size so I want it small in size so that it can be shareable to people because sometimes you save files that are that have over that are over 20 MBs and it's just an image that's very obscure um, and uh, you could also uh, when you're saving you could also click and click or click this box here if you want to have a a a, a, clear, a clear copy, a clear document copy with uh, that follows up the image, but I don't want this, so I'm just gonna unclick this. And you could have this. This option is very, very handy um, for you. And I, I, I insist that you keep this one. But for me, I'm not going to keep this one. So I'll press OK here. I'm happy and satisfied with the options that are here. Um, I don't touch much here because you may might spoil some other things. So just click, click OK, and you're done. It has saved, and you could find and locate uh, the image. Let me just refresh this. You can find and locate the image on your desktop, and this is Ekaru, the one that we made. And look at it. It's a, a Krita uh, artwork, uh, a text artwork using the Krita text tool. So it's very simple to uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and learn more about Krita. It's a very simple software, and I hope that you made it this far and you're going to like uh, the video, subscribe. Uh, drop in a comment or two and um, see you in the next tutorial.